I know it's been a while since we've uh, had any uh, new videos for the audience and we're, we're hopeful that the series of videos that will follow this video uh, will uh, bring more of a practical and uh, more summarized consideration of how a Christian is to function in a very, very troubled world uh, that we now seem to have to exist in. So we're, uh, we're going to uh, go over a couple uh, simple points. And uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things that seems to keep coming out around uh, anybody who seems to be wanting, wanting to be separate uh, from the current system that we see out there, the current world, uh, it seems to be that there is automatically a link, especially with uh, governmental enforcement, uh, that anybody doing anything out of the norm is automatically going to be associated with this free man on the land movement. And I'm very much aware of it uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, it seems to be coming up uh, in discussion uh, where I've had friendly conversations with uh, uh, police enforcement, uh, nothing to do with any issues that would be uh, having to uh, deal with them in a matter of jurisdiction, just conversations that I've had uh, randomly, and it seems to be coming up that uh, this free man on the land movement uh, has become a huge concern for the enforcement. Now, we know that there's always inflated information, and we know that there's always propaganda, and we know some things may be blown way out of proportion from the truth uh, that uh, may be the reality of the situation. But uh, I do realize from listening to, to some of the interviews uh, regarding some of the individuals, and I'm not going to go into uh, naming them at this point because uh, it's, it's, it's aware to those who have been following those movements, but uh, it appears that their activities seem to be around the idea that you would have no jurisdiction of law uh, to enforce against them. And because the viewpoints uh, that they're portraying are not accurate within the law, people unfortunately are being misled uh, by this information. And so therefore, I want to clarify the fact that the information that we provide in these videos, especially because we are only providing that the solution is found in the Bible. It is God's word. My belief is that this is the only solution of peace for mankind, and it will only be God's government through his son that will bring actually this peace. It's important for people to understand that the videos that we are doing have nothing to do with these groups. Uh, and therefore, to an extent, it should offend any Christian to even be associated with these groups, even though at times some points they're making seem to be valid, but they're only valid within a very small amount of truth that they are actually giving forth. So be very careful. These groups are watched, and you should not be careful, concerned, or in anxiety due to the fact that they're doing something good. It's because they really don't make sense in law. More than not, what these groups seem to be focused on is I, that they want to participate in society as they feel they want to, but there will be no laws to govern them when it is not convenient what is attached to any duty, debt, or obligation that is associated with their behavior. So we want to be very careful on our research when we're just automatically saying, boy, that sounds really good because it sounds like freedom. But what they're really doing, uh, as far as a Christian viewpoint would be, is causing war. And therefore, these people are marked. And I want you to be cautious um, that if you're trying to bring your Christian belief in with a free man on the land movement, you're mixing oil and water. And they don't mix. So there's much confusion there. And my, my point uh, for this for this very small video is do not be involved with these groups if you are proclaiming yourself to be a devout Christian.